just pulled up to the school bus. It's for sure been a fat minute since I worked on her. Just been winter, kind of grinding, working out, and uh, stacking the cash. But we got a new truck right here. Got to show you guys a little bit. Take a couple peeks at her. A nice 94 F shitty F-150 long bed single cab. I guess we're pulling the jet skis too. So let me uh, give you guys a peek of these real quick because they are beautiful. Take the cover off a little girl. Nice little peak. Bombarder, GTI, Rotax, Sea Dew. Uh, they're 717 cc du dual matching ones. So they ain't too bad. So we're definitely going to take these on a couple trips. But let's head inside the bus. I snagged a couple tools. Got the classic Ryobi Impact circular saw with the 4A battery on her. So we got that. Let me snag this. And then, uh, the good old shot bag vacuum from Ryobi to clean up. So let's head to work. Uh, I guess let's head inside real quick and, uh, ooh, already got three two by fours. I snagged those a couple months ago. Anyone in here? It still smells fresh. Snagged these, uh, pretty straight two by fours from Home Depot. You gotta shop at Depot. Lowe's, they'll be a little wonky. Okay, we need to crack some windows. Let's go back here, crack these hatches. And this is where we're gonna be working today. Gonna see if, uh, see what I can do with this closet area. Don't look too bad, started the framing and uh, got the first shelf already in. Whew, one scoop, let me toss another. So I'm gonna have a little top shelf up there and then a full bottom closet area for my clothes overflow. Just straight up storage. So uh, let me get a couple of measurements going. And then on this side over here about the breaker box, tossing this nice Ryobi locking uh, cat. Toss my uh, fluids or whatever in, then I can hang my drills, torque guns. But first this week, I'm gonna cop some nice clean flush wood that goes right there. But uh, it is cooking in here. Let me uh, crack these. Woo! Nice clean cut. Peep that real quick. Nice and smooth, straight. Not too bad so far. Cut a couple uh, pieces of wood, screwed them up. Got this piece right here. It's gonna go right up here. Ooh, nice snug fit too. Looks a little funky right now. I, I, I don't know why, it just looks a little funky. But uh, after you put the clean wood up and uh, the two cabinet doors, I think I want it, I don't know if I want two to open. One to open up like that, probably like that. And this door, I think I want it to open like uh, this way. If, you, if it opens up the other way, it'll just interfere with all this and then just nice clean door. But uh, I was just thinking about a couple more things I can do before it's too late and then uh, you have to take it all down. Like I want, like inside wall cabinets right here like I have right here but the 2 by 4 just didn't look right to me it just looks too fat like maybe you can get like a like ah, like this fat like I only want like this but I don't look too bad after you put the clean wood like I said add the doors and built the whole thing out of 2 by 4s a lot of people build them out of like one by ones or like a one by two, like a little thinner wood. And, uh, but this beefy, like she ain't falling down. That's what I like about her. Solid. 
So uh, two by fours is the way to go. And uh, gotta add a couple angle pieces right there. An angle piece right here so I can hang my cabinet, my little Ryobi drill cabinet. But uh, we head back to work and then I'm about to hit the gym. Pick up my boy Ty, clean up a little bit. Not too bad of a work day. Oh girl, 60 volt, big girl. Listen, she just needs string. <laughs> Just installed the safe, came out pretty freaking mint, nice and flush, pretty freaking uh, tight too, but uh, I like it. Next sheet up, we're going to toss this clean wall up and this whole garage finally be enclosed. So here's what it looks like so far, just going to slap up that last clean sheet right there and uh, finish boarding up this closet. <laughs> 